Insufficient cooling occurs within the engine when your radiator is clogged, not functioning optimally, or has simply failed. This could cause your car to overheat and, if it's not fixed quickly enough, cause irreversible harm to your engine's internal components. Radiators can malfunction completely or become clogged from the inside or outside. I'll go over some symptoms of a clogged radiator in this quick video so you can watch out for them before your engine overheats and sustains costly damage. It's Max the Car Guy. Subscribe and let's get started. Coolant Leaks When rust buildup is severe enough to cause a radiator to become clogged, the housing or cooling fins may develop tiny holes or cracks on them. You might notice tiny coolant droplets on your driveway or garage floor after this. The most common causes of radiator rust are low-quality coolants and adding tap water, rather than distilled, to the coolant mixture, which contains a lot more impurities. More and more rust will accumulate and begin to eat away at the radiator tank if a radiator flush is not performed on a regular basis. Your car will be forced to run on too little coolant if there is even the smallest leak, and your dash may light up with a low coolant level indicator. Your engine may overheat and possibly require costly repairs due to internal damage if you don't repair the leak as soon as possible. High Temperature Gauge Readings If the engine begins to overheat, you will know there is a problem with the radiator because a functioning radiator keeps the engine from overheating. Keep an eye on the temperature gauge to see if the needle is in the red zone or if the readings are higher than normal. Some more recent models will alert you when the engine temperature rises too high and display the temperature digitally. Most cars operate best at a temperature of 195 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. In most cases, especially during the summer when the air conditioner is running non-stop, a slight deviation in temperature from that range is not alarming. However, if the temperature remains consistently high, it might be an indication of a blocked radiator. This usually happens as a result of internal deposit accumulation over time. Fluid discoloration Coolant for vehicles should have a vibrant hue, typically green, yellow, or orange, but it can also occasionally be red, pink, or blue. It should also flow easily through the engine's coolant passages and radiator. Sludge and internal deposits can contaminate the coolant over time. This will make it appear more rusty or perhaps oily in color. The simplest method for examining the coolant's condition is frequently to check the coolant overflow tank. Additionally, the tainted fluid will be somewhat thicker and more difficult to pass through the cooling system. This causes the radiator to become clogged, and if you allow it to get severe enough, your car may overheat as a result of the radiator's decreased efficiency. It is best to have a radiator flush done right away. Furthermore, a transmission cooler that is housed inside the radiator is present in certain cars. Coolant and transmission fluid would mix in the event of a leak in the barrier separating the two, creating twice the trouble. Bent or damaged fins on the radiator. Airflow can be obstructed not only by foreign material adhering to the radiator's front but also by bent or damaged fins. Due to their extreme sensitivity, these fins may get damaged if a small piece of gravel strikes them while driving. In addition, damage may happen when a new radiator is installed or even when cleaning the fins with water spray. The fins are easily bent and can obstruct the airflow when excessive water pressure is applied, as when using a pressure washer or concentrated stream. The engine may overheat if the radiator becomes sufficiently clogged with damaged fins. Exterior radiator fins blocked. Maximal cooling is the goal of radiator design. Small fin tubes that cross the radiator's front are used to achieve that. Hot coolant is carried by these tubes. In order to cool the coolant before it returns to the engine, the radiator fan forces outside air onto and around these fins while you drive. Dirt, insects, leaves, or other debris clogging these tubes prevents airflow, which reduces the amount of coolant that can cool down to the required level. The majority of cars have sufficient access to use a garden hose with a spray nozzle to clear any debris that might be obstructing the radiator's front. Heater not working. An automobile's cabin heater works by forcing hot coolant through the heater core, whereupon a blower fan forces the heated air into the passenger compartment. Not enough hot coolant reaches the heater core to enable adequate warming of the car's interior if the radiator is clogged or leaky. Most of the time, a faulty thermostat is the cause, but radiator problems can also occur. Cold Lower Radiator Hose The lower radiator hose will only be warm as coolant passes through the radiator, but the top radiator hose should be extremely hot to the touch if your radiator is functioning properly. However, after you've driven for a while and noticed that the lower radiator hose is cold, there's a possibility that there's a blockage in your radiator that keeps the full flow amount from returning to your water pump. Replacement Cost One of those items that varies widely in price is radiator replacement. A radiator replacement will likely cost you between $200 and $900 in total, with most cars falling between $400 and $500. The cost of an aluminum core radiator with plastic tanks can range from $100 to $600 contingent upon the type of vehicle, its make and model, and whether it is an OEM or aftermarket component. Radiator replacement also takes varying amounts of time. 
It can take one hour to service some cars with simple access, but three hours or longer for cars with tighter, more intricate setups. Labor costs should be anticipated to be between $100 and $300. Furthermore, additional components might be required as part of the task. Usually, fresh coolant is required, and occasionally the thermostat, radiator cap, hoses, and hose clamps need to be changed at the same time. Allow an extra $15 to $100 for auxiliary components. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.